minutes and four seconds. And at the moment, with 2.2k to go, she was on a pace of two hours, 14 minutes exactly. Well, hold on to your hats. We could be in for a wonderful finish here. What a race this has been here in Chicago. We knew it was going to be good. And so far, it has not disappointed at all. So, last year's winner now. All cameras, all focus are on here. The wheelchair race on the men's and ladies' side done and dusted. The men's elite runners, the top three, are resting up now. It's all eyes, all focus on this lady. 28 years of age, the Kenyan. Ruth Chepin Gettage now who holds American personal best of 217.08. That's going to go. That will be blown out of the water. What she'll do after that, that remains to be seen. She's checking her watch and she knows history could be in the offing and in the making here. She can just keep this kind of pace here. She actually looks like she's picked it up a bit, to tell you the truth, Errol. Just by the way of her arm action, her legs. It feels like she is actually increasing the pace. Well, the, me the legend, Eliud Kipchoge, a couple of weeks ago in Berlin, set another world record, breaking his own world record, 201.09. Are we on to see the women's record? Paula Ratcliffe, for so many years, held that record before, of course, Bridget Koskai took over. Are oh, we about to see it handed over here to this lady as well? Well, it's only fitting that we stand up here for the remainder of this race because we could be blown away here by the superb marathon running that we've seen in the last 24 months or so from this lady. I mean, just incredible. We knew that she wanted to get revenge after the stomach trouble in the World Championships in Oregon. She spoke that she was in really, really good shape. And the current sign says that she's 10 seconds under world record pace. We're going to see the first time in our lives a woman running under two hours and 14 minutes for the marathon. Incredible, incredible, well, incredible. You have to believe that some of the crowd have tapped into that. Yes, they give great encouragement to all the... Uh, leaders here but some of them must know that we're on for a slice of history once again let's hope so just imagine that Kerry Panofsky here must be absolutely holding on to that baseball cap of his because what a big coup it would be for him as well should we get that world record we're probably at around about you know somewhere between 800 to 1k left in the race can she pull it off can she do it can she do it? I hope she can. It'll be amazing yet again, Errol, that you and I get to stand here and talk on international television and see another world record being broke at the Chicago Marathon. Well, he is a bit of a lucky charm, really, with regard to world records, Kerry Panofsky. Four of the Chicago Marathon, five world records have been set during his time as the executive race director. 1999, Kenya's Catherine Naneba as well in 2001. Paula Ratcliffe, Kenya's Bridget Koske in 2019, Steve Jones all the way back in 1984. Fast forward here until 2022. Is history about to repeat itself again here in Chicago? Let's hope so. She's digging deep. She's got the whole body moving now. She is tired. You can see the movement in her head. She's really, really digging deep now, but her running style is still running very nice. Are we going to see it? 800 meters to go now. 800, less than 800 meters to go. Well, our coach, Federico Rossa, well, he must be absolutely on the edge of his, uh, she must be absolutely on the edge of his seat, sorry, because this is going to be a fantastic achievement, whether she does it or not. All the time, she set out like she meant business. The big question was as to whether she could maintain this pace all the way to the end. Shoulders just beginning to sway side to side now. She knows that she's going to have to dig very deep physically and mentally to get that world record time. But I think the crowd know that. You can hear it. Yeah. Really doing their part. Boy, she could do it with a pacemaker now just to give her a helping hand or so. On her own since 2K, since 2K ago. But she's coming up the hill. She needs to fight. She needs to push. She needs to drive those arms up that hill, quicken their legs, speed and move if she's going to get under 
for two hours and 14 minutes. Just remember, the world record is two hours, 14 minutes, and four seconds. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 4.27 seconds ahead. So can she do it? That's the million dollar question. Now, slight incline just to get through as well. That certainly doesn't help the cause, but again, this is where you know that she's going to have to dig in. She has immense ability, immense belief in that ability. We've seen that in the last few years now. Since Dubai, really, when she set that uh, personal best of her, she's gone on to win so many things. The Istanbul half marathon world record last year, 104.02. We knew and we know that she can do it at the half marathon record, but at the full marathon, now that is where she's really beginning to show us exactly what she's all about. So again, a gentle reminder that the world record is 214.04. She's going to have to go some now to break that record. Another turn that she's just got through. The final sprint now, she can see that ribbon. Gritty teeth here from last year's winner. 15 seconds to go. Oh, can she do it again? Where's that clock? We need to see that clock right here, right now. She's just beginning to kick now. She's beginning to kick again. Hard, strong, grinding her teeth. Where's that clock? We need to see whether she's broken the world record here or not. Last year's winner has done it again. That's conclusive. It was so from a good couple of hours ago as to who was going to win. What we didn't know as to what kind of time she would get. There's the ribbon. There's our winner. And we need to know as to whether she has a new world record or not here. Right. I think she just missed it, unfortunately. Well, you have to say, maximum effort to her. She gave it absolutely everything until the end of that race. She's out on her feet. And, well, you can understand that as well. So back-to-back -back victories for her as well. Here's Emily Sisson of USA, who's run a very, very steady race as well. I have to say as well, six-time national champion, and the American half marathon record holder as well. It's going to finish what we believe will be a very and highly respectable second place here today. She, she will get second place. And at this stage, she is still well under the two hours and 19 minutes. So she is going to get the American record. We're just getting better and better. Well, yeah, that, uh, well, oh, look at that. She gave it absolutely everything. Really have to enjoy it. What we saw here, 2 14 18, not far off that new world record. Well, what a time that is. That is the fastest time this year by some distance. Well, she was, almost did it. Amazing result. Well, Bridget Koskai, perhaps you can uh, breathe a huge sigh of relief that your world record remains intact. But this lady did everything she could to get it yeah she's definitely taken left it all out on the track well, she did a dig. well she's smashed minutes off her personal best that is gone what an event we have seen here today I cannot emphasize again just how good it is